Hi, and welcome to the Digital Digging YouTube channel. Well, yesterday, I, along with a fair number of other people across the planet, downloaded and installed Bethesda's much-anticipated sequel to Fallout 3, unsurprisingly titled Fallout 4. I couldn't, however, get beyond the initial menu choice as both the keyboard and mouse were unresponsive. I dutifully downloaded the latest NVIDIA drivers and patch from Bethesda, but all to no avail. After a little head-scratching and searching, I eventually came across a fix, so I thought I'd pass it on to you just in case you were suffering from the same difficulties. OK, do you have a controller plugged into your PC? Yes? Unplug it, and that should be that. You should now be able to play your game to your heart's content. If you're happy with unplugging your controller every time you want to play Fallout, then the job's done. If on the other hand you want to use your controller to play other games without having to unplug it all the time, then here's a slightly more elegant fix. In Windows, go to C colon backslash users backslash your PC name, this is whatever you called your PC, backslash documents backslash my games backslash Fallout backslash. Locate and open a file called fallout4prefs.ini. Locate in that file the line that goes B gamepad enable equals 1 and change it to B gamepad enable equals 0. Save the file and you should be able to plug your gamepad in without Fallout 4 registering its presence. Okay, just a quick one while I work on the full review of the game. Cheerio chaps, and I hope to see you for the next one. Bye bye. 